When I was a nigger, which wasn't that long ago, honestly, in the year 1983, a year in which many of you might have just been a teenage glint in your father's eyes, there was a certain Bond movie which came out that had the provocative title of Octopussy. Now, if you don't know why that title is provocative, go and ask that teenager, who should be a little older and wiser <laughs> by now. As many long-term Bond fans will know, in each movie he wears a different watch. Sometimes a few different watches in each movie. But in this one, they chose the Seiko G757 Sports 100 watch. In the movie, it features a tracking device which is used to find a Fabergé egg. These days, due to these watches' rarity, to acquire such a timepiece would, for the average Joe, involve a considerable investment of money. I'm really rich, I'll show you that in a second. Which is a bit of a shame for people like me, as I could not possibly justify that much on a watch. But there is a way into the world of Bond that will cost you a tiny fraction of the cost of the original. Casio to the rescue with the AE1200 sports watch, the closest we mere mortals are going to get to it. But why have I blurred the image? Am I just a complete teasing bugger? Well, yes I am, because before I let you see it, I need to of course unbox it. Right, let's get this over with, because this first bit is the bit that nobody cares about, but we do anyway, just to tease you. Let's unbox this bugger. So, as you can see, it's a nice little box, and it's actually got this little sort of carbon fibre pattern on. Nobody cares, but let's look anyway. So, it's difficult to hold, so they've actually put this little thing here to slide this whole section out. Isn't that nice? So, if we slide that out, we can then open the doors and go in the back way. Or the front way. Uh, yeah, there's a the manual, and on the other side we have the watch itself. And this little bag, and it's foam. There we go. So there's the watch itself. Look at that in a little bit more detail. But in the meantime, let's look at what we get in the box, which is, as well as the manual, you get the usual stuff that nobody gives a rat's ass about. So you've got that, register online and win, no thank you. Uh, English, yep, whatever. And the manual, which I found, oh my god, which I found in the case of this watch, for once, you are going to need, because it's not the most obvious thing to set it up, because you've got combinations of buttons. But as usual with Casio, you've got a good quality manual uh, to help you along. and. Yes, it is a thick manual, but it does come, as usual, in many different colours. The uh, Let's have a look for you. The actual English manual, if you're English and require English, is that big. Or 50 pages. 51 pages. So there we go. Right, let's get rid of that. And let's get on to the watch itself. Now, you will see straight away, it is, in my opinion very attractive uh, made to look as close as they can get away with it uh, to the original bond watch Been making these since 2012 uh, the case itself is uh, resin this is not metal uh, on top of the resin section sits this black plastic bit uh, and inside there is the crystal glass which is not crystal glass it's sort of resin but you know we call it that anyway and inside the bezel is this is a display on the bottom top and left there uh, on the top left you've got like an analog clock with the second finger being disembodied there and going around by itself tops a little information display tells you about the alarm on alarm off mute uh here's the world time zone display which we'll get to in a moment and at the bottom here is the digital clock You'll see all the buttons are labelled mode, adjust, light, and search, and a 10 year battery. Wow! Uh, so, on the top of the bezel, uh, will time and illuminate on the bottom with faux uh, screw holes, faux screws. So, there we go. So, that is resin. The back of the case itself. I just undo this strap here. Back of case itself is metal and has the details on. 
nothing fancy and the kit the strap itself is metal and is a joy to behold it's thick it's chunky and it's quite weighty the clasp is a simple fold over one with fine adjustment there to adjust obviously and Casio's strange linkage system uh, where you press on these little things here and then this slides out and you can take links in and out that way I still had to get uh, a watch person to do this because I had trouble with the links and they had trouble too so just be wary of that so let's uh, see if we can set this up and have a look at the features of the watch itself right as usual with a watch review it is quite difficult to keep this stable but we're going to try our best here so we can show you the features first of all we've got the light which in modern ones uses the electroluminescence but in this one they've kept it traditional and you can't see it in this light i'm going to have to turn the lights down for you to see this be right back okay as you can tell we've got the lights right down so uh, if i press this you'll see glorious display with two bulbs in the corner lighting the entire thing up and it looks rather nice in this uh, orangey glue so let's put the lights back on okay so right uh, i forgot to mention this does actually go down to 100 meters depth apparently wouldn't try it but it gives you the option right hitting the mode button you go from your clock here to the there we go tells you the utc there you can then go to an alarm you can set five different alarms and it's just the usual beeping so nothing special there a timer which if you hold this button you can set to whatever length of time you wish and oop. then you just press this to start it and go down or up and down and next you got a stopwatch obviously press that to start that to stop that to reset and that to change uh so the alarm timer stopwatch and back now search here you've got different time zones so you can see new york city and the map changes there to show you the time zone so if i press again you'll see different time zone there tokyo paris Paris time zone there and London now when you do set this watch itself set the time it will offer you hundreds of different places well not hundreds but you know I think probably about 20 different locations it will set such as really good so it's very flexible on where you live and that is not an issue so yes we're not talking massive amounts of features but what I will do now is just let you listen to what it sounds like beeping setting the timer here but one interesting thing about this watch is you press this button it will go up you press this button it will go down so if i set this to five seconds we can hear it beep so do that do that do that hit that and four three two one so there you go there's a generic beep that's what everything sounds like on this watch so final thoughts so as you can see uh, on my wrist it sits nicely uh, on uh, people with smaller wrists it may be a little bit too big it's a nice weight doesn't sit too heavy but you can tell it's there and it's well made well featured and just brings that back that uh, retro bond 1980s nostalgia look for you so if this is the uh, sort of watch you're after then for the price point these come at which is about 20 to 30 pound you can't really argue. So that is the Casio AE1200. Nice. If you like these sort of videos and uh, enjoy this, then please subscribe. And if you want to uh, mingle with people with similar interests, then why not join our Facebook group or Twitter? And other than that, uh, if you are subscribing, don't forget to hit that notification bell so it will actually tell you when new videos come out. Other than that, thank you very much. For watching. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy.